Hi everyone, it's Dave River Hunter. So today I'm back out at the river. Actually today I'm not expecting to find a lot of new stuff since I've been out uh, just last week. And um, But the thing is, last time that I was out I saw this watch. Um, and it's pretty deep. It's like, I guess, 11 foot maybe? Maybe 12, something around that. And um, yeah, I really want to get that watch. It's I, I believe it's a stainless steel watch. I just saw it from above and I swept above it very fast. So it was in the middle of the current. So it's gonna be a little tricky. Um, but today the water level is a little bit lower. So chances might be that I'm able to get it. Also, I got my magnet in there, the big one. And I hope to be able to come across it right at the top and have the magnet on it. And it's gonna be a little bit a thing of luck uh, a lot of luck <laughs> if i manage to hit the right spot and hit the magnet on top of it while going with the current in like 12 foot deep water but yeah um that's the plan for today since it's too cold for me to dive down i still am on my air mattress so yeah wish me luck on that All right, so this is my second attempt to get out that watch. The first time I spotted it, the next time I went back with the magnet is what you uh, saw the last clip. And um, right now I've just currently arrived from my overnight trip uh, with some friends where we found that iPhone magnet fishing. Um, I'll add the clip right here. iPhone. And uh, so yeah, we just arrived back and um, since it's currently raining, as I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah, it's raining and I thought I have to go out and give it a second try to get out that watch because I don't know how long the water level will be this long with this visibility and I'm a little bit scared that it's going to be more difficult during summertime or during higher water level to get out that watch. So I have to give it a try even though it's raining right now. So yeah. Um, Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I ran out of battery of my GoPro and I tried about like 12, 15 times, I don't know. I had it as you saw, but for today it's over. So I'll be back tomorrow. Anyways, I'm freezing and I'm out of GoPro battery and I need that watch on, on GoPro <laughs> if I'm able to get it out. So wish me luck tomorrow. All right, it is tomorrow. The water level is a little bit higher, and but we have perfect weather. So let's jump in and see if I can get it today. It's a Rolex. Rolex! Woo! <laughs> oh, please don't be fake again. This has to be real. Tell me this is real. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of insects. Wow. That took me a while. Check this out. I can't believe it. <laughs> I mean, this is the fourth time that I found something like this, but the previous ones all turned out to be fake, and there's water inside. And oh, I'm shaking. So because I'm cold and because I'm excited <laughs> um, I'm just please be real I have no idea how to spot that one but just please be real <laughs> there can't be such a high effort that I had to get this out so don't disappoint me <laughs> so the big question right now is is it real or is it fake I did some research in the internet and um, yeah, it appears sadly to be a fake, but it's like a high-end fake. Um, you can see right here at that part, there should be something like a screw right here, right down here. And it's just like closed, I don't know. There's just something missing compared to the original one. Also, if I am able to open this up, There we go. Um, you can see right here the Rolex is just like, it's not really print, it's more like printed on. It is scratched, but not like that deep as at the original one. And also like on the picture, there is this PJ3, whatever that means, um, but it's like the same as on the fake reveal other than that it's like really good made it's like the ceramic part is here and yeah actually everything is like pretty good um as you can see the moist completely disappeared um from the inside and also when i found it it was not ticking i spin it around because i wanted to get out that water uh, that was under the glass to the side 
so that I could see like clearly inside. So I started to spin it like that pretty fast and then it started ticking again. And uh, since then it works. I thought it's gonna be a real one for sure, but yeah. Somehow I keep finding fakes. Someday I'm gonna find a real one, I believe. But um, yeah, that's fake Rolex number four so far. This one right here is the first one that I found back in 2015. Actually, my friend found it, but we got it out together. And yes, since it's a fake, I still have it. That's really cheap made, you can tell. It's also very light. Then the second fake, I think, was 2018. Um, for that wild magnet fishing, but yeah, that um, around here should be ceramic as well, and it's just like somehow printed on or something. Color came off all that glass is completely missing, and the back part is made out of glass, uh, which should not be on that watch. Then my best find before. The actual watch that I found right now was that Rolex right here. It's a, I can't remember the model name. It's been too long. Um, it's cracked right here. So that's probably why there's completely water inside. Um, I have the other video up and people say like, oh, it's a fake because there was water inside, but I revealed. First, I revealed <laughs> that it's a fake in the video more than one time. So um, and second, like there's water inside because of the crack. So yeah um it's pretty good made i also believe it's like a high-end replica because the only things uh, that's fake is like that those two or maybe those two should be just um the opposite like the numbers don't match if you want to watch the video i'll link it um in the end of that video make sure you go check it out and then we have the actual one that i find the only one that works so far but yeah Sadly, it's fake too. Well, not today. Maybe soon. Hopefully soon. I'll get one. For sure. Wish me luck. So, there you go. To the other fakes. Perfect. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend. No, tell two friends. And uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram as well for more story highlights and other content. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.